everyone and welcome to Doritos Corner. In this video, I'll be making stir-fried gizzard plantains. A stir-fried gizzard plantain. It's going to be steaming up some gizzard and I'm going to add the plantains to it. So, let's begin. I begin by um, cutting up my gizzard. It's already washed, so I'm just going to cut them up. Maybe you cut them up into two. Some of them are smaller. Some of them, this one like this is fine. But this one like this is not. So I'm gonna cut them into two. So I just add my, is that a and then I'm gonna add my all pepper seasoning to it. And I'm gonna add enough water to boil. So I'm gonna put that on the stove like boil till it's tender. So while we're waiting for is that to cook to be very tender I'm going to slice my cut up my plantains I'm going to cut them up I'm not going to make them too small but I'm going to make them in such a way that they will be a bite size my plantain is looking it's not too soft and it's not too hard so this is the perfect how your plantains should look like when you're using you're making this kind of recipe that I'm making so I have my plantains here I'm going to put it in the oil and then whilst it's fine, this is how uh, he's that also um, cooking, boiling so slow and patiently. So by the time I'll be done with frying the plantain, the pizza should be ready and then I'm gonna fry that as well. Okay, here is my plantain frying beautifully. So I'm gonna let it dry it up a little bit more, and then I'll take it out. And then my gizzard is also almost done. You can see that all the water dried out. That tells you that it's almost done okay so i'm gonna give it for additional uh five minutes and i'm gonna take it out so our gizzard is looking good and i'm gonna keep the sauce and use the sauce for the stir fry so i'm just gonna take it out this is the texture i'm going for the tenderness i'm going for you can cook it some more if you if you want it very 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 super soft. But this should be enough for everybody to be able to enjoy. 
all the ketchup with this one joint. It smells that hot. It's perfect. Well, so I'm gonna fry it and it's gonna get it more, add more to the next all right? So I'm gonna begin with the stir fry. So I have two tablespoons of oil in there. I'm using olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice, all right? So I'm just gonna let it boil, uh, heat up a little bit, and I'm gonna put the ingredients in there. So this is how my plantains are looking. I'm going to take them out of the oil, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, gizzard in there. We are looking good. It's still gonna fry some more. So whilst it sits, it's gonna brown up a little bit more when it's out of the oil. That's why I'm taking it out that early so it will give it some time to brown. But if you want it to brown some more, it's gonna go end up getting burned. And this is what I'm going for. So I'm going to add my gizzard also. And I'm going to fry it in a very low heat because the oil is already hot. So. That is fine, a very low heat. So moving forward, I have my oil in here that is ready. I'm gonna put, uh, do my sauce for the stir fry. So it's just the oil, and this is a blend of onions, green pepper, and some garlic. Blend it up. So I have my, my vegetables already marinated in the oil. So I'm going to add my all pepper seasoning in there. And then I'm going to mix it in. And I'm going to allow it to at least simmer for five to six minutes. And then I'm gonna add the other ingredients, okay? So this is how the gizzard is looking. I'm going to let it fry for an additional two minutes. So it can be crispy, very, very crispy. So it's easy when you put it in the mouth, it's easy to chew, all right? So I'll just let it stay in the additional two minutes and I'll take it out. So I'm going to fold the, uh, the stock from the gizzard. I'm going to fold the stock from the gizzard. That's where all the juicy stuff is. So I'm just gonna add that, mix it in. And then I'm going to check out my, my gizzard now. My gizzard is looking good. So I'm taking out my plantains. Oh, my sorry, my gizzard. And I'm putting it on the paper towel to bring all the spices for your food. See how crunchy it looks. It looks very crunchy. You can serve this alone as a side dish at an any event. Or you can make it a stir fry, something special, something different. You know, somebody, everybody will be asking, what is that? What is that? Because it's different. It's not the normal thing that we eat every day. So our stock, our stew or stock is looking good now. I'm going to add the gizzard to, to it so that I can infuse all the flavors into the gizzard. Okay, and I'm going to leave it in there for at least three minutes. You see how it's looking. I'm looking really, really good on appetizing. Okay. So I'm going to add some crushed pepper. You know, I like some beef to my food. So I added some crushed pepper. And I'm going to add some paprika also. We also have its own 
smoky flavor it gives. So I'll just add that together and then mix it. At this point, your heat should be on a very low heat because everything is done, but we are just trying to infuse the flavors into our geezer, okay? So I'm going to add so look at that. Look how gorgeous our gizzard is looking. I'm going to add my plantains to my gizzard. Make sure you don't finish all your plantains before it goes in there. Because it looks so good. <laughs> they look so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. This looks amazing. So now I have my plantains in there. It is actually done right now, but I'm gonna add some vegetables just for garnishing. And it's healthy to have vegetables with your dishes as well. So I have all the peppers, the green, the red. And then I'm going to mix it in. This is my stir-fried gizzard plantains. They look really, really colorful and delicious as well. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. If you've watched till this end, at, the, at this point, God really bless you for watching, staying here with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. All right, so we meet again. Bye and God bless you.